What's up, Shoki? Some people work so they can buy bread for their family. Some people work so they can buy a brand new controller because a wall broke their previous one. And some people don't even work because they're lazy. But me, I work so I can buy more and more Apex skins. And the new special offers tab and feature tab are the example why I walk barefoot because I can't afford shoes after every store rotation. But enough talk about this week, it is time to see the next week's store rotation, which was found by my boy Crorindo while using a crystal ball which was previously owned by an Apex developer. Bestial Instinct Bundle is the name of the Season 9 Collection Event Sentinel skin and it is probably my favorite Sentinel skin ever. Because the bundle is not using the bonus word inside of it, it means that probably a legend skin is going to be together with the skin, which means the price of this bundle is probably going to be around 2000 apex coins next up is futures pass bonus bundle which is an average looking caustic skin this skin is probably going to be bundled with some apex packs making the total price of the bundle around 500 apex coins and not more and you know what man i'm just sad that respawn has removed the legend editions and said that they are not going to bring them back because they are gone forever oh never mind they lied guardian angel lifeline is the first legend edition that is going to make a debut in the feature tab after respawn said that the legend editions are gone the price of the bundle is probably going to be above 2000 apex coins because you are going to get many good cosmetics inside of it these are all of the bundles which are going to come next week but also there are many standalone skins which are going to come or one at least respawn has pushed a patch today which is fixing the problem with fps on console the prestige blonde skin damage tracker and control mode is going to give you penalties now if you leave the game Game. The penalties are going to increase if you do it over and over again. Many more patches are going to come and fix many other bugs so this is not the last one. Also some updates on control. The control mode is going to come two more times this season, probably for the collection event and the themed event. Because you will need to play control to get some event badges which is really good. The weird thing is why even remove it then? If no other limited time modes are going to come, why not just leave it there throughout of season 12? But Maybe they want to create some type of a break which will create even more desire to play the mode when it comes back every time. That's it, thank you for watching, bye!